Sam Brock reporting. And now to a consumer alert for you this morning. Many of us now have gift cards to spend. And we have a warning before you go out and use them. This year alone, there have been $74 million in gift card related scams. NBC 5's Alana Quillen spoke with an expert for tips on how to avoid becoming a victim. The Better Business Bureau serving North Central Texas told me this is an issue they've actually seen here locally with gift cards. Scammers pulling the card numbers and even the PIN numbers directly off the gift card by messing with the packaging, sometimes in ways that you might not even notice. The other way they're doing this is by using a skimmer to pick up the magnetic information right off of the card. So if you've got a gift card for Christmas, first thing you should do is check the packaging. If something looks strange or even a little bit off, that could be a red flag. And of course, the minute you get that card, go ahead and flip it over and call the number on the back of the card. That way you can activate it and make sure all of the funds are there. And for everybody that gets gift cards, I know people like to hang on to them for a long time, but we always advise spend them immediately. Um, and if you're not going to spend them immediately, just research constantly to make sure nothing strange is happening with these gift cards. For every technological advancement that um, you know banks or or card uh, holders make, there's another one that the scammers make. They stay ahead of the curve, and for as much as we stay ahead, they'll find a new way around it. I know with the rush of holiday shopping, consumers might be oblivious to problems. So if you got a gift card for Christmas, go ahead and check the packaging. See if that cardboard has been peeled at all, or even if the little scratch off for the PIN number has been messed with in any way. If it has, you can call that number on the back. Usually the retailers or the card companies have a way to investigate fraud and, of course, can help you freeze your funds if you have any problems. Alana Quillen, NBC5.